Okay, donc, uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, everybody, and welcome to uh, this webinar, so powered by uh, Eco Green Energy. So I'm Nicolas, marketing director of Eco Green Energy, and today, and today I'm with uh, Mr. Dalibor, who is the CEO of Eco Green Energy. Uh, so about Eco Green Energy, so we are a French brand uh, solar PV manufacturer, and we own uh, two factories in China. Today, we will introduce you the key point to pay attention when you select your PV module supplier, okay, and the trap, the trap to avoid, based on the standard reference of uh, Eco Green Energy. So now I will let uh, Mr. Dalibo introduce himself and uh, speaking about this point. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Mr. Ebo Nikolovsky, the French uh, CEO and founder of uh, Eco Green Energy in China. Uh, so as you hear my colleague uh, introduce, uh, we're a French company installed in China, uh, so we're using a French process to produce our products uh, and uh, adding the quality and attractive price. Uh, one of the main aim uh, why I founded Ecograngy in China is because uh, 10 years ago when the solar was uh, starting to boom, uh, there were few companies and there were few, uh, in fact, companies that had the right qualification at that time uh, and I always thought that it would be difficult to choose the right partner at that time so we wanted to create a solution to the problems that was there which was having a good supplier a good price and a product that of course will last longer uh, so this is why now we want to uh, go ahead uh, to introduce you uh, all this point of how to still today avoid the, the traps that you can find in China and work with good solution company uh, such as ours. So during this presentation, we will enumerate and disclose uh, all the issues that you can find and we'll take Ecogrenergy as a, a reference of what it should be done. Of course, our reference also reference on good companies. So we're not above all of them, uh, but we consider ourselves being in a good level. Uh, here, uh, Evan, before this webinar, we got a lot of interest and Evan, a uh, very good question that we will answer during the uh, following presentation. For example, why my module is less efficient than national data sheets? How can I avoid micro cracks? Uh, how can I avoid snail trail or corrosion? Uh, how can I make sure my follow-up is well, uh, my order is well follow-up, and how to be sure that the supplier is using ready sales. So these are all the points we'll see one by one in this presentation. So of course, to uh, get to know uh, the right choice and how to avoid the trap, we need to go point by point to understand in which part I should be more careful when buying. So the first thing to understand is what raw material is being used in my product and what kind of quality control do I have? How is the factory production? Because material is one point, but if production is not good, can affect the final product. Certification. How I've been taken care of. How is the product packed, protect and load? And finally, what reference do I need when I select a supplier? So first of all, we'll focus on the basic point, which means the raw material. Every time I get a lot of clients telling me I got this price, I got this offer, but then when I try to discuss with them to understand but what is in your offer, uh, they say, I'm not sure, I don't know. So this is why we emphasize that every client or every partner who buys solar panel must know the bomb, the bill of material, which means the components of every PV module, the glass thickness, EVA, junction box, and of course, what kind of report do I get? What kind of tests? How this factory is checking my product? 
So this is the kind of thing we'll see in details. Of course, primary to that, let's review together and enjoy together to review how is my solar panel produced. So of course, the first layer is the glass. Then we'll go in detail of the uh, component of the glass. Then is the EVA, as we know, the EVA is what will help us to stick all the panel together, the cells. One more time, the uh, EVA or PO if it's a uh, VIPV panel. And of course, the back sheet, the TPT, and the aluminum frame. So we have to review each single point to make sure that we get the right product. So first of all, we'll talk about the cells. What is important now to understand, uh, and many people might uh, forget about this point, is what kind of cells are being used? And why do I need to care a lot about the cells? The cells represent 65% of the value of the panel. So if the cells is good, good level, of course, my panel will be more efficient. If the cells is lower level, my panel will be less efficient. But for example, if you take a cells for poly, for example, if the efficiency is 18.9% efficiency of the cells and 18.6, there is a price difference of almost 20%. And this is the trap that many clients get uh, affected, that they think they buy a panel which is, for example, 350, but only delivers 330. And that's why they get lower price. So, of course, we understand that price is a key motivation to buy a product, but we need to be careful and to understand. So we, this is what we want to do now with EcoGreenG is to introduce you what you should be careful. So for the sales, of course, we know that there is poly sales, mono sales. And recently, uh, the big brand, Tier 1, have been trying to change uh, all sizes. That means... Uh, the reference size, of course, is 156 millimeter, but now you know that we can go up to 210 millimeter. We had fibers bar, uh, and now we go up to 12 bars. Uh, but the commonly used still today is a fibers bar, and for half cells we can go up to nine bars bar to get the full efficiency and get to high power. So to choose uh, well the panel, we must make sure that the cells are been cells of big brands such as GA, G, DMGC, TW Solar. So it's important also to enumerate those brands that are not tier one brand panel, but that tier one brand sells that still many people don't know, such as here, for example, TW. Many people don't know, but they are a key role in the sales pricing, this kind of company. That's why this is the kind of information you must research and know before placing your of course, uh, we all know well that uh, most of the cells that we have been using recently to get the highest power are using perk cells. So as we know, perk cells have a, a, a layer of aluminum oxide to make the efficiency higher. So this is why you need to be careful. Of course, uh, a basic role also that we see a trap in many factories, the uh, materials that has been used for TPT. So every uh, material we, we separate, again, is to repeat that on every material, you can uh, save some cost, reduce cost, uh, in order or to sell cheaper or to earn money. So we want to, you to be more careful about that. For example, for the EVA, uh, for the TPT, now we're using the TPT, which is a uh, brand mostly used by tier one with a compliance in all the international certifications, such as TV, UL, ROS. Um, and of course, we make sure that we have the right weight and the right resistance. Be careful, be very aware, many factories use second-hand TPT or um, let's say uh, TPT that has been out of date because, of course, the back sheet of the TPT has a limited date of production. You cannot keep this too much in stock. So this kind of thing you need to be very careful about. Key point that we have to pay attention is the EVA. Why? 
EVA is what will stick the whole panel together. So to understand very well how the panel will last longer uh, at EcoGreen we try to choose, we're choosing the best brands. So we have two to three big branding channels that have been used all over the world. And one of the top brands is Spec. What makes the difference between EVA from big brand and EVA from small brand is what raw material they are using. For example, in this case, Spec is using the resin from Japan or Korea with a specific formula to avoid issues such as snake trails or bad lamination. So that's why we choose big tier one brand. Another point that can reduce the cost and make some uh, producer lower their price is the weight of the and the thickness of the EVAs that they will choose. In this case, we're using 420 gram of EVA, for example, per panel for just one layer, knowing that there's two layers in one panel and the thickness must be at least 0.5. And this is what makes your panel also last long. That's why choosing a good material is very important. And this is why you need to pay attention and again, understand your raw material. So here, for example, we want to show you what is your snail trail. So this you can find, and I've been visiting some clients who have this kind of issue when they buy from some unknown producer who didn't pay attention to what raw material they were using. And this is still today you can find after can appear later, like maybe one year after installation, two years, and this is a trace that a body we have been used. Here. Another big topic, of course, is the glass. In this case, uh, we took the brand EcoGrange is using is Armada, but we're also using HG, CNBM, which has a top brand in China. Why we talk about the brand of the glass and brand for others? Because brand is a reference. If you use good brand in the product, then by logic, your final product is a good product too. That's why we insist on all those brands and on the detail of those brands. So in this case, when we use the glass uh, with Armad and brand, we use a glass with this anti-reflecting coating glass. What does it mean? It means the reflecting light will stay more in our panel, which can help us improve the efficiency of the panel. And of course the thickness, which can be more resistant. So these are the points you need to check. For example, I have seen, uh, final product with a glass which didn't have the coating. But by not having the coating, the glass can be 10% cheaper. So you can imagine where you need to be careful. And that's why, again, you need to know the bone of each one of the material. And of course, here, the bones uh, of, of the, of the panel, what will make the panel stay longer in your project, in your solar farm, on your roof, is of course the frame. So what we pay attention is to make sure that we have a strong frame, dense frame with the right weight. Ecogreen G and also big brand are using frame with a good thickness. Now we're talking about 1.5 millimeter thickness. For example, in our panel of 60 cells, we're using 2.5 kilo. Again, you can find that people are using lighter uh, frames that you can maybe not see by eyes, but not feel. But once you install on the rooftop or on brackets, you can see the frame starting to bend. So that's why the thickness is very important and the way that will be used on those frames. So pay attention to that and check it when you receive your panel. Of course, the junction box, one of the last elements of the product, of the bone of the raw material is the junction box. Why? Uh, because again, on the junction box, you have different range of product and different range of price. What will make a junction box more efficient is of course the waterproof level from IP67 to IP69. So of course now most of the companies will use IP67 or eight as we do. Uh, the anti-aging capacity of the plastic. Again, the raw material of the plastic is very important because we have seen that some junction box after having hot weather, cold weather, raining and this and that, 
the plastic starts to fade and it's getting to break easily. So we pay attention that the materials that we use at the ECOGRNG are products that can last long. As I always say, solar panel is a lifetime investment. So for that, we need to make sure that there's lifetime raw material on each one. One of the key parts also, uh, for example, here we have a copy of the ECOGRNG QC report. Uh, we, you must make sure that when you place an order, that each single panel gets tested. We are seeing that some factory use uh, sampling tests, for example, 10% have been tested, 20%. Good companies uh, and big companies, tier one in ECOGRNG, we test every single panel and we provide quality control report before loading. So we make sure that you approve that the tests have been also accepted. So we have a specific quality control team, which is outside of the production, just to make sure that they're separated and they have objective view on what is good quality and bad quality. So that's why we pay attention that every single panel get tested. And as you can see here on the presentation, we have a barcode that is referring to the test. And we keep all the record for more than 10 years, so you can ask every, every single EL picture and flash test if you need again. So this is the key point of having a good traceability. Please let us know if you have some questions, so we'll be very glad to answer now. Do we have? Okay, wonderful. So that means I've been very clear and a, a, a good speaker. So I'm happy for that. Let's continue. So, of course, uh, after talking uh, about the raw material, what is important here is to uh, describe and to see how is the production, in which way the spanner have been produced. Because as we say, uh, uh, to have a good dish is not only about the ingredients, but it's to have a good chef. Uh, so this is where a good factory is very important and where the process and machinery need to be checked and of course then review all the certification that approved those factory to be in a good one. So here, this is where uh, we want to defer and to be different is the process. First of all, you need to really check the process of the factories. Uh, through your visit or through uh, data and files that you can get once you are buying the panel to make sure that there's a clear process and standard. So what we pay attention is, first of all, to make sure that there's clear rule, clear process in each single uh, point, that I mean from the beginning till the end, with the training, leadership, inspection. And this is where we put our French organization style into the production. So we develop uh, each point and make sure that every single day the rate of non-conformity is decreased and that we get the full high efficiency. So you will have a diagram, scheme all over the factories to make sure that it's simple and it's clear for everybody to understand what is good production. Of course, Good organization is important, but now machinery is also important. So when we receive the, the cells, the first step is to always make sure that the cells are uniform. So once we have, as we saw before, the grade A cells from big brand, we still do a second checking to make sure that all the cells will be uniform. Because as you know, grade A can have sometimes difference in color, slight difference, not so much, but we still want to make sure that every single panel is unique and uniform. So here, for example, the first machine uh, with brand Copa, the most used by tier one company also, uh, will select the color, but also will check the EL. So EL will reveal of each cells if there's a micro crack, if there's a defect, if there's a hot point. So if there's a problem, immediately the machine will reject it. So we will not put this in our production line. And this is very important. The, the main heart of the production in, in our factory will be the welding machine. Why? 
because the welding machine is what will weld each cells together to connect to get logically the electricity out of the panel. So you should understand that for welding machine, these high level machine, low level machines that you can find in different factories. Now, uh, first of all, as you know, uh, a machine that we're using, and my tip one is using in uh, energy, uh, this is auto machine. This kind of machine, the budget is over $200,000 just for one machine. For the same kind of machine, you can have smaller brands from $20,000. So you see the gap. But the gap, of course, it's not only on the price, but it's also in the efficiency in the machine. And as you know, this is a precision machine, so precision of work. So that's why here we are using, such as big brand, we're using this kind of uh, tier one machine. So here is a clear example of what's happened when the machinery for welding is not good. For example, you have a space on the welding, the connection is not done well, then you have immediately hotspot on the solar panel, and which you can see on the right picture, hotspot in your solar farm. So that's why paying attention to those details upfront is more important than discovering when it's too late in your lens. Of course, it's important to remind that before we enter the phase of laminating the panels, that means sticking the panel together, we check one more time through another EL of the whole panel. Because during the production, if there's a harsh movement, or uh, if a machine press some cells, it might be broken. So we make sure that even before lamination, we check. So we check the EL, the electroluminescence of the panel to make sure there's no micro crack, or there's no hot spot, or there's not any problem. So this is what we do. So if the panel is good, it will go directly to lamination. If it's not good, it will go to repair. And as every good company, you should have a standard. You must have a standard on the EL testing. So in our case, this is the EG standard of what is a law, not a law, but mostly here, as you can see, as soon as there is a small defect, it's immediately not a law. And this is what will differentiate a good company from a not so good company. Of course, again, uh, now we'll talk about lamination. Uh, so, uh, the lamination part is what finalized almost the solar panel because it's what will stick together, what will make the panel also last long. So the lamination uh, will play a big role uh, because it's what concludes finally and the lamination and the EVA are the two important points in that. That's why when we do lamination for a normal panels, I mean uh, glass and TPT, our usual lamination time is 19 minutes. Why? Because if we do a good lamination, we know that there will not be any defects such as bubble error or other issues. And we know that the client will be happy for more than 20 years. And what matters also is that the brand of the machine we use is to solve the top one brand of lamination. So here, for example, is an uh, air bubble and also corrosion. Because of course, if there is air and humidity entering, you can get corrosion. So you know you have to replace the panel. Okay. Uh, so here is the, after testing all the panel, uh, then we sort out uh, the panel uh, by color and power. So we make a row of each panel to be uh, then packed uh, according to the power and, and color. And of course, there's also non-conformity panels that we reject. So every day, you should know, every good manufacturing, every T1 and EcoVNG, there's a non-conformity rate between 0.1 to 0.6%. So you have to be careful because some factor will not reject panels and will put them in the system. But this is normal that sometimes you have re rejected panel. So we must make sure that it doesn't enter to your content. Then, of course, the certification. It's, it's a very um, tough subject about the certification because we know that we have many entities to certify the panels. Uh, we have TBCU, TB Redland, TB North, TB South, uh, S, West, whatsoever. Uh, so 
this kind of point is very important. First of all, you, you should know that one of the top entity doing certification is TPC. Okay, so it is important for us to recognize that. Uh, and the key point for that is to check if the brand you are buying from are registered in this TPC. Unfortunately, in 2020, we still see some uh, factors photoshopping their certification. But then when you search on, on the TVC uh, link that we send now to you, you will see that the brand doesn't appear there or that only panel appear there. So that's why it's important for you uh, to uh, see all of that. Okay, I see that uh, you can, somebody cannot hear us. Can you all hear us or not? Uh, also, Mr. Abdallah, we will send you the presentation by email for sure. Uh, you don't need to thank us, the, it was planned already. Please, if you have any question now, uh, let us know and uh, or no, if not, we'll go to the next topic. No, no question. Uh, I should do uh, politics, huh? I'm, uh, I'm very good at telling stories, so let's move on. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Uh, so the next point is how you will be taken care of because when you buy from different brands uh, sometime and you will have this case that once the deal is done that's it and people don't care anymore about you so the service and the engagement that the company will have to you is a key point uh, not only for the product itself but for your own business this is why i think we will try to make it different and we're making it different. for example uh we make sure that the team follow up every single order well on time and that you get your own on time and that you are satisfied with that so we follow the until the shipment is done until you receive and once you receive we engage to a support to follow up your business that means we have a marketing team such as you have seen uh, mr nicolas top who will help you develop the brand and the product and to make sure that you can launch it and that you have a success to sell. So we'll share information about the industry and your market. We'll bring some marketing support. In some case, for example, what we did in Morocco with a client called This Way, we uh, were um, sponsor of the booth, of his booth. So we bring samples and of course, we took some costs out of the booth. Um, we bring training to the whole team in Mexico. We got the whole team of distributor and we did a big training to make sure that they understand and they know how to sell the product. Uh, we share how to position the brand and what argument they can do. Moreover, this is another key point that we didn't write, you should pay attention. But even tier one and some other companies, they will tend to go over the distributor to get even the small client. So we we need to be very clear that once we work with distributor, we don't go over that because we encourage our distributor to grow and not to take over the food in front of them. We have seen this issue in, with uh, tier one brand in Mexico where they sell to distributor, but they sell to the client of the distributor. So this is a point you need to be very careful. What is the culture of the company? And that's why having this uh, European culture in China can be very helpful. Of course, the last but not least, the after sales, we always have someone to follow up to. Person with all our department, including the sales, the leaders, the marketing, and myself. Do you have any question? Or oh, again, I did a good job. So please let me know. Uh, so we'll come to the fourth part. Can you hear us very well? Yes, all good? Okay, wonderful. Uh, so now we go to the packaging and loading. It's also a key point uh, because we would like to tell you that our mission as an eco energy is to make sure the products that get delivered to you get delivered all fully secured and 100% without any trouble. So 
first of all, what we do is to make sure that the panel are very stable and that we put an out strip. So usually what we do in our case, we put two pallets together and we strip them. And of course we put it here. As you can see on the left uh, picture, we put also some individual pack because we want to make sure that the container is fully full because it will save some cost on the transportation. While some brand and even big brands only want to do pallets because it's cost saving. But we always think that this uh, service to put you more panel can be good for you and saving some cost on the transportation. The other point is we use a bridge to load. Some companies will not use this kind of bridge to load. So you have to understand that you have to pay attention how the loading is done. So here we have a small uh, short uh, movie for you to understand. So as you can see, we load, and you see not having a uh, rush movement is what will prevent panels to have any micro cracks or having the frame to bend over. That's why you have to be very careful how you load. You see, the movement is quite clean and the panel will be uh, arriving in good condition. Uh, also, uh, Mr. Stephanus John, Thank you for your question. I will finish this point and then we'll come back to answer you about the bankability. Okay, so here, for example, on the first left side is our warehousing. So you see the organization well done. The point is not to put over pallet, over pallet, over pallet. You can only put two layers. If not, you might affect the panel. And you see that because of our loading, uh, on the middle picture and right picture is how clients can discharge easily. So after, it's important also to take responsibilities that when you unload the container, you unload it in a good way. So here's a, a situation that you, you can have if you don't pay attention to how you load your container and how do you discharge with macro cracks. So if you have a micro cracks on the cells, it can affect two to three percent of the cells efficiency. So you can imagine the whole panel, what kind of result you can have. That's why you have to control this kind of loading and have the right uh, shipment. And of course, again, I repeat, we'll send you this presentation uh, by email to all of your participants. Uh, so let's see if we have any question now that are related to that. Uh, so you say, Mr. Stephanus, you asked, Thank you for inviting the bankability of the PNL and different mainly tier one and tier two. It's a very good question, and uh, I'm sure my colleague Nicola also will answer with me. So, first of all, we'll start tier one and tier two. The difference tier one is capacity of production and having uh, some project done, uh, which were paid by different banks and different projects. So, for example, uh, more you have project, more it's easily to get tier one. You have tier one companies that can produce three gigawatt, and tier one companies that can produce two hundred megawatt. So, the main point is really having project bankability. What it means? Of course, it means that they have good finances and that they will have a good credit. So, for example, you have companies such as in China, Simon Shu will check the bankability and credit. That means the company is financially stable. And also that the company, if it's still one, is more easier than for you to get a loan for different points. Nicola, do you have any points you would like to add about bankability? Uh, no, but as Mr. Dalibo mentioned, so it's true that um, uh, this. Okay, that's, so that's it. So, any other questions? No? Okay. Then let's go to the next one. And uh, yeah, uh, bankability and warranty is very different. Uh, bankability is really related to uh, the, the company status and financial uh, position and, and status. Well, warranty is warranty only related to the product, product uh, working, product efficiency, and product not having any defect or problem. So don't worry. Of course, EcoGreen G and good companies have a good warranty, which is about uh, 
uh, product warranty for more than 12 years, uh, power warranty over 20 years. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I received from Mr. Danish and supposed insurance. I will answer you just after I finish this, for sure I will answer. I appreciate a lot your question. Finally, some question. Uh, so, the other part, uh, you need to be very careful, uh, except for bankability, as you say, it's very important, and checking this uh, warranty, is the key information to check are the reference, the history. For example, Eco Green Energy is a company of more than 10 years history. So that means you need to check the past of each supplier you are checking to work with and the client reference. And where are the clients? Because it's important that a good company have reference through all different uh, countries. For example, in this case, here we show you some clients we have in Europe, in Africa, Latin America, in Oceania, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, this proves to you that this company being present in different country is a company I can trust. Then, of course, uh, is to make sure that uh, we have good reference and good project and how we grow. In this case, it's very important to tell you, for example, uh, I can tell well, one company which is Poland in Poland. We started only with one to two container for three months. But with the work that we did on marketing and working with a good product, this brings a lot of implementation and increase of the orders. Today, we're doing three to four orders a month. So this is why it's important to have the right partner when you choose to work with someone. That's why it's a key point to pay attention to all these aspects. And we have the same case with uh, Synergy in Latin America, where we started also with one or two orders and finally with the work with the product checking then they got very happy and increased and of course another one which is ng so comment in new caledonia it's a good reference also because they have branched all over the world where we try a first simple project and today we have been working together for over three years so past is something you need to pay attention it's the same way when you get married you <laughs> you check the background of, of the person so it's the same thing for the company And of course, uh, you have to be careful about project. Project are a key point for you to check. Be careful, <laughs> again, today many factory, many supplier will use some Photoshop pictures that you need to check. Of course, it's easy now to check, you just uh, call, take the picture, put on Google and see where it's from and things like that. So it's important for you and when uh, the sales from different uh, factories send you pictures and you say, oh, it's our project, our project. No, check really pay attention to that. All the pictures we put, you can be traced and you can see, and also make sure they are recent pictures because many factors which also are bankrupting and you have to pay attention, which did good in the past and have suffering now, they might use odd projects to convince you to buy from them. So please uh, pay attention to this kind of point. So here's the, the, the presentation. Uh, we are welcoming all your questions, and every question is a good question. So please uh, don't hesitate to shoot, and we'll answer one by one. So let's read. Okay. So the insurance, uh, what we do was every company do, and this is where you have to pay attention, because people say there is insurance, everything is insured. In fact, when you take big brand insurance such as uh, which big brand? Uh, CNBC or yeah, CHUB, CHUB, CHUB or other insurance. What you have to pay uh, attention? What kind of insurance is it? Is it insurance for the product? Insurance for the company? Insurance for what? The most important for you is to have insurance for the product. But pay attention that the panel you are buying with you will be insured. Because what some company do is they just insure specific amount of panel and that's it so you have to pay attention to that but be, be aware that the insurance is most important for project and tenders because those are the panels that will be uh, mostly um, uh, highly used and maybe uh, will have more um, uh, weather condition to accept and to to be involved too so that's why you have to to pay attention to that but the insurance is a third part company today you have many many insurance and many companies that do that from small company to big companies. But it's very easy to check. Thank you. 
this is another good question. The insurance can cover the performance of how depend on which insurance. Again, you have to be careful because many factories say they are insured, but they don't insure exactly the performance, but just the product in general, if they are broken or things like that. So there is some insurance, but of course, this you need to talk to your uh, provider and this can be included in the final price. But be aware, you can increase a lot the final cost. Yeah, and you, need, yeah and you need to read, uh, to go really in detail with the warranty letter and all the warranty documents that uh, accompany the, your product. Okay. Uh, Copy is a company, are you also using? 166 millimeter, 210 cells for module. Do you think the whole channel will move toward the 210 cells very soon? Uh, what will be the timeline? Mr. Balachander, so I appreciate it. it's a very good question. To be honest with you, uh, this change of size of cells is really a politics of the tier one uh, trying to kill the, the, all the players. So that's why we have seen, like, I can say some brands such as Mongeing doing 166. Ryzen doing 210. So every tier one try to do it their own way in order to really compete and to impose a specific product. What's the problem here? They're not only uh, putting trouble to some uh, brand and other company, but they're putting trouble to the final client because the final client will have to do different dimension. They have to change different uh, parameter. Uh, they have to adapt different bracket. And of course, if the panel is bigger, means you need more workers to transport, to install and this and that. So this is more strategic, I will say so strategic for the big brand to try to dominate uh, the industry by imposing this kind of size. Of course, uh, we at Eco Green Energy were, uh, I will say a medium sized company, we can produce up to 200 megawatt and next year up to 300 megawatt. We are using, uh, until now we are using 158 and we'll go to 210. Uh, the main point is those cells will be mostly used for big projects that you don't have on a regular basis. So 210 will be, we're using and as many companies will be used, but to achieve power such as 450 up to 500 now, we have seen some producers doing 500. But again, it's really a commercial battle. I know that at the end it can produce 5%, 10% on cost. But in the, in the medium run, you will not see this uh, reduction. That's why we have to be uh, very careful. Now, the main trend we have seen for today, and I can guarantee it will be okay, is the cells 158 for mono that has been more and more used, even for half sets. So 166 is really proper to long brand. Uh, very few brands are doing that. And 210 is mostly rising now. So, but of course, we'll have to follow to achieve this high level of power. So we must make sure that. And the timeline, I would say, uh, depend, depend on how the market will react. In fact, the client is the king. So you will at the end decide in which way you will turn. But the production of the usual sales didn't stop. So all the sales producer are not stopping the old sales because they still demand. And this is one matter. Then, Third party, whom do you work with for your product price? What happens when you want to exercise the one? Okay, so on this part, what happens when you want to exercise uh, the warranty? So, in fact, what happens normally with your panels, you have like a warranty letter, okay? And inside, there is all the rules that need to be followed. So, for example, if tomorrow there is a problem with your panels, and if it's writing and cover inside the warranty letter, Normally, you manufacturer need to replace these panels, okay? But this uh, warranty cover only the replacement of the panels, but not the cost of uh, transportation or something like that. But he need to send you like uh, new panels to replace, okay? In case there is any problem. Uh, then after we have another question. Well, so we have another question. So do you think that HGT technology would be followed by Chinese company next to Monopair uh, to TNC. So uh, on this, we, we are not sure about this. What we know now is that uh, Monopair cells are really like uh, the most common uh, cells that you can see on the market so far. And for sure, it will be the main trend for the next uh, three to four years. 
também com que estou saindo da vida, o doutor Axel, que também está há não é muito tempo de ouvir, não é? Mas não é isso que nós queremos. All the big producers of cells are still uh, based on the mono and poly cells, mm -hmm. so they will not at once destroy billion of dollar production to immediately change to a new technology. So I think they will go toward more and more new technology, but for the moment, the basic uh, production of mono and, uh, and poly will still continue for some time. So there's nothing to worry about. And we really need to make the difference between uh, like a big project or even installation for industrial and uh, what we call like a like more private installation for residential in Europe and other countries, which they will keep using like the standard panels. Uh. That is the point. That's why, as I always say, we depend on demand too. Because, you know, we understand the motivation to buy will be the quality and the price. So we must make sure that both are meet in order to satisfy uh, all the time. So, do you have any more questions, please? Okay. Mr. Balachender, do you think module price in China will go down after the COVID situation? In fact, what is happening? It's already going a little bit down, uh, not because of the raw material itself, but because of the COVID, because the industry is going lower and down. So I've seen even some T1 now offering lower price than before. Uh, but I can tell you one thing, that the industry still is moving on. For example, in our case in Niji, we are fully busy until uh, mid of May. So I mean, the production is still full and there's a lot of demand because, you know, uh, whatever we produce now can only arrive in June or July in your country. So, um, so it's true, the price went down a little bit, but it cannot go lower than that because now we are limited to the production cost. So uh, there's no point of that. That's why the other main point is people are producing a little bit less to maintain a level of price. But after the COVID, I think the price will go back to normal because I've seen most of the project have been postponed or maintained. And of course, price always depends on what the final demand, what the final purchase and what the final project. And in China, projects are starting again. So, and you know, when China do projects, they do big projects. So this will also influence the price. So here also we have another question from Mr. Stephanie. So would you explain more about panel degradation? So in terms of degradation, we have two types of degradation. We have what we call so PID and LID. So about uh, PID, it's because the earth is producing electricity and your panels also produce electricity. What can protect your panels against PID, it's mainly the quality of the EVA that you use. So now we came back to the, the bill of material. This is why it's very important. Uh, one way that can protect your panels against the, the PID effect, it's uh, the quality of the EVA that will be used. Okay. Then after, um, okay. Sorry. Um, do you think that the oil price will affect photovoltaic market? You know, it's uh, it's difficult to predict because uh, we know that the oil now is under the production cost. But you know, it's a war between uh, USA and uh, Middle East and Russia trying to produce more. You know that the price going down because USA and Saudi Arabia are producing more oil than US and USA now have a lot of stock and don't know what to do. So the, I think it's a temporary situation. Uh, let the COVID uh, go out of the, the space. And uh, of course, we, uh, our prayer to all the families who are suffering with that. Uh, and, uh, but we think that it all should come back to normal because uh, at the end, uh, you know, uh, renewable energy is still uh, a very strong point to, to, to invest in. Okay. Did, uh, did all the Chinese manufacturer uh, running with 100% production? Uh, I would say it depends on what kind of manufacturer. For example, uh, gigawatt factories, no, they are not running 100%. This is the truth. A factory like us, like we have uh, 200, 300 megawatt, yeah, we are fully, we, we have to shift, okay? We're working there. And I, we are fully working and we are complete, as I say, until May. So, uh, yes, uh, depend what size of company, what size, because as you know, many projects have been postponed. And tier one company are only counting on this kind of project. 
So that's why we, 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 are, we know that some packs are fully working, some packs are not, and this is the fact. So after to tell you in percentage if they work 100% or 80%, I cannot tell you. I cannot speak for what I don't know and what I don't see. But I know for sure that they are not working 100%. Would you be able to give the price for purchase in one year due to COVID? For, this is for uh, megawatt projects. Uh, at the moment, everything is unpredictable. So to give you today a price for megawatt for, for the for project in one year, in one year due, um, it's kind of, uh, you know, now it's better if you buy it to buy now at this kind of level of price, because we expect that COVID also will change the mindset of people uh, be willing to be more green. Even we have seen some uh, sales increase in some country because they all want to turn to more and more green. So I would say uh, we have to be careful on what we offer and what people are offering because there will be some changes uh, in the market. No, no, well, I'm saying after, it's true that right now uh, the price of the panels, it's, uh, it's like kind of low price. Uh, price in the market but for sure we will arrive soon at the, the bottom price i mean uh, there is still the the cost of the raw material and the, the thing workers like this. And so the, yeah and the workers and, and this you cannot decrease so yeah. i think that so far now we are like really at bottom price and uh, maybe it will increase a bit but uh, not much thank you mr balachevi for your comments uh, we appreciate your your good comments you can give good comments. I'm, I'm happy for that. So. <laughs> Do you have any more questions? Okay. Are you all hurry to go to eat food? Huh? Because I think it's lunchtime in some countries. So. No, all good, Mr. Raj. Okay. I Je vous en prie. Uh, any others? Okay. So anyway, it has been a pleasure doing this webinar. We'll do most specialized webinar in specific point and specific product. Uh, so we hope that you can uh, continue to, to follow this webinar because, and you can prepare more questions in advance. We'll be very happy and glad to answer to all of you. Uh, this webinar has been prepared with our marketing team, so I would like to thank them, uh, Mr. Nicola and Sephora. And uh, we'll continue that and we'll keep you updated. We'll do it in different languages, so this is the, the beauty of international company in China. So we have Russian speaking, French speaking, Spanish speaking, uh, Serbian speaking, uh, and of course English. So we'll do more and more webinar and uh, don't hesitate, uh, send us a email, question, and we are there for you. Uh, we're in the action. We're in China. We know what's happening. We know in which direction we are going. Uh, so do not hesitate. And really, we wish you all the best in this situation. And uh, we hope to keep in touch. Okay, thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you.